Yeah, I got Bel Air and Cafe as a whole. Okay. 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 We want the suspect to know that the no snitch policy will never protect you in our community. That we are coming for you, we're looking for you, and we'll leave no stone unturned in trying to find out your whereabouts. But at the end of the day, we want this brother to know we will not rest until you're held accountable for this crime. And this was a wicked crime and a crime against women and a crime against humanity. This is the sad story of Felicia Johnson, aged 24, a Californian woman who went missing after taking a trip to Houston for her 24th birthday. Felicia had been in contact with a man named Chikwobukan Wobudo, age 28, a man she met on an online escort website. She vanished from the face of the earth after meeting him at his apartment, her remains were found almost a year later in the Sam Houston National Forest by a text.worker. worker. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Tonight, a father believes the remains of his daughter who went missing nearly a year ago may have been found. And today, investigators tell us they were back out at a site in Montgomery County where remains were found earlier this week. This story will be taking us to Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas is a very populous city and is a very major city. Houston is named after General Sam Houston, a very important figure in the city's history. He became the first president of the Republic of Texas after he won the war against Mexico in the Battle of San Juancito, gaining Texas independence from them. Felicia Marie Johnson, aged 24, was from San Diego, California. <laughs> it is not particularly known where she finished her high school but she was described as someone who loved life, loved her family, and wanted more in life. Her family members said, Felicia is a beautiful young lady, she's very smart, very intelligent, she's the life of the party. <laughs> she celebrated her birthday with her family members few days before she went missing five days later. On April 10th Felicia spent time with her family celebrating her 24th birthday, and she left for Houston from California on April 13th. Upon arriving in Houston, Two days later she went to an adult night club to apply for a job but was turned away. Prior to this, she had been in contact with a man named Chukwubuka Nwobudo who she met on an online escort service. Nwobudo responded to an ad Felicia had for that night. After her application at the adult club, Felicia took an Uber around 2.56 am that was ordered by Nwobudo, the Uber took Felicia to Nwobudo's old address on 3200 block of Windchase Boulevard. Then. He picked her up and took her to his apartment on South Richmond Avenue. The next day, Felicia's family members did not hear from her so they became worried and reported her missing to the police department. They also hired a private investigator who was able to start investigating right away and discovered Felicia's cell phone by pinging it at Bear Creek's Pioneers Park several miles from the club with blood on it. Her dad flew from California to Houston to help with the massive search that was on the way. We're out looking for Felicia Johnson. Today they searched an area of interest at Beer Creek Pioneers Park, which is right around the location where Johnson's family says her phone was found. Well, it's been five days since Johnson was last seen living a nightclub on West Little York in Northwest Houston. ABC 13 reporter Roxy Bustamante joins us live with what we've learned about her disappearance, Roxy. So the Cover Girls nightclub right here behind me was the last place where Felice Johnson was last seen. Now, Houston police tell us that detectives returned back here to this area and her father is hoping that the surveillance video from inside the building will reveal who left with her with his daughter. Where is Felicia Johnson? I can't put it into words. I'm, I'm trying to hold myself together and not just break down and I don't know where my baby is or what's being done to her. Kevin Johnson says his daughter Felicia was at the Cover Girls nightclub off of West Little York on Friday, April 15th. He says she was trying to apply for a job but was turned away. She called the Uber. Uber was taking too long to really get here. So a gentleman here at the club offered to give her a ride to where she needed to go. Felicia has not been seen since. No cell phone activity, no credit card activity, no social media activity. She has absolutely just vanished off the face of the earth. 
A team with Texas EquiSearch was searching in an area of interest near the park off of Eldridge Parkway. We know that she's a victim of foul play. We need help in finding her. Johnson's family fearing the worst. Her father sharing this message in hopes that Felicia Johnson is still somewhere alive. It's a tragedy that you've been caught up in this net of, of whatever they got going on out here. But we working very, very hard to get you back. And I love you. Everybody in the family love you. And I just want to let you know, just stay strong and we're coming for you. A $5,000 rewards was offered by the Crime Stoppers of Houston for information that leads to an arrest. After the FBI joined the effort to locate Felicia, they discovered that a man named Nwobudo had ordered the Uber for her and they started tracking her movement from there. They discovered that after she was picked up from his old address, they drove to his new address and an hour later, his car is seen on surveillance video leaving the complex. On April 16th and 17th, Nwobodo is seen on surveillance footage with a bandage wrap on his right hand while at Walmart where he bought trash bags, a flashlight and towels. He was also seen to have purchased a mechanical saw from Walmart and Home Depot. The next two days, HPD said receipts show Nwobodo took out money and purchased supplies, including towels and trash bags. On April 20th, Investigators say internet searches connected to Nwobodo's Gmail account shows he looked up if bleach or vinegar could destroy DNA. Several days later, on April 27, Nwobodo's account searched how to delete your history completely. The next day, he searched for multiple ways on how to get away with murder. Nwobodo also looked up 15 cheapest places to live in the world. On May 3, Nwobodo's account searched if police could check the phone records of a missing person and if police can unlock a phone during an investigation. On May 13, detectives got search warrants for his car and apartment. Investigators found very strong support of Felicia's DNA in his apartment and a gun, knife and shovel in his car. Uncovered some new information in the murder of Felicia Johnson. Nearly two months since she was last seen, her remains still have not been found. Now new court documents show how investigators linked a suspect to her murder. Good morning, Erica and Jeff. We're live here from where Felicia Johnson was last seen alive. It's the outcome that no one wanted and the gruesome details in the new charging documents accused the suspect of doing extensive research to try and cover up her murder. Friends and family last heard from Johnson back on April 15. According to Uber records, investigators subpoenaed about a week later, they say the suspect, Chuabuka Wobodo, was the one who requested the ride for Johnson from her hotel to his apartment. Police say records show that on the 16th and 17th, he bought a number of supplies from Walmart and Home Depot, including a flashlight, shirt, gloves, saws, trash bags, and towels. Later that day on the 16th, a family friend found Johnson's phone at Bear Creek Park covered in blood. On May 13th, HPD conducted a search warrant where they say they found blood, weapons, receipts, and supplies in the suspect's car, as well as Johnson's DNA and blood in his apartment. Here's an excerpt from a news conference last week held by activist Quanell X and others who have been looking for Johnson. We want the suspect to know that the no snitch policy will never protect you in our community, that we are coming for you, we're looking for you, and we'll leave no stone unturned in trying to find out your whereabouts. Investigators say that Wobodo's search internet history came up with phrases like how to get away with murder and does blood or does bleach destroy DNA. Right now, police are still looking for Wobodo and they have not located Johnson's remains. He was nowhere to be found after this and was not yet officially charged, but luck for the police he was taken into custody during a traffic stop, but Nwobodo was not charged after the traffic stop so he was released but a cell phone in his front pocket was seized. Court documents said the cell phone contained a photograph of a dismembered female in addition to three photos of deceased individuals. The individuals in the photos were not identified and no metadata was associated with them. He was officially charged for the murder of Felicia Johnson after they felt they had sufficient evidence. Newly released documents are revealing shocking and gruesome details about the murder and disappearance of 24-year-old Felicia Johnson. She vanished in April. Fox 26's Gabby Hart is live tonight with news that police say the suspect's Google search history is being used as evidence against him. Gabby. 
Yeah, Tom, charging documents reveal that after Felicia Johnson's disappearance, the suspect Googled things like how to be a serial killer and how to get away with murder. Police also say that they found photos in his cell phone that showed the body of a dismembered woman along with other dead bodies. New documents are providing insight into the circumstances surrounding the disappearance of 24-year-old Felicia Johnson. Johnson came to Houston from San Diego and attempted to get a job at a local strip club. We're now learning that she allegedly met 28-year-old Chukwebuka Wobodo. The pair agreed to meet for $500. The suspect sent an Uber for Johnson to the Intercontinental Hotel around 3 a.m. April 16th. That Uber took her to the suspect's old address on Windchase Boulevard. Police say the suspect picked her up from that location and took her to his new residence on Richmond Avenue. On Thursday, police saying they found evidence that leads them to believe she was murdered. That evidence revealed in these documents. On April 17th, the suspect purchased a saw, towels, large trash bags, and a trail flashlight. When officers searched his vehicle, they found a gun, latex gloves, a large kitchen knife, and a shovel. They also found Felicia's blood in his trunk and back seat, as well as blood stains throughout his apartment. After Felicia's disappearance, the suspect allegedly Googled things like what does bleach do to blood, how to be a serial killer, and how does one plan a murder without getting caught? On April 30th, nearly two weeks after Felicia's disappearance, the suspect's Google search revealed he was still looking for Houston escorts. The investigating detective saying, quote, I believe Felicia is deceased and was likely dismembered. On May 13th, nearly one month after Johnson's disappearance, police arrested Wobodo at which point they went through his phone, where they say they found a photo of a dismembered woman and three other photos of dead bodies. We also learned that the suspect was previously investigated for attempted sexual assault. The victim chose not to press charges. Now, right now, it's not clear why the suspect was arrested and then released from custody. We do know, though, uh, that tonight that suspect is on the run, wanted on charges of murder and tampering with evidence. Felicia Johnson's body still hasn't been recovered. Hospital documents showed Nwobodo received treatment on his right hand at a local clinic on the morning of April 16th, claiming he cut himself while opening boxes. Ten months later, a TxDOT worker who was working in the woods found human remains near Flamingo Lakes and Highway 149. Montgomery County detectives and investigators responded to the scene. They determined the remains were in fact human and samples were sent for DNA and dental record analysis. Tonight, a father believes the remains of his daughter who went missing nearly a year ago may have been found. And today, investigators tell us they were back out at a site in Montgomery County where remains were found earlier this week. Grace White joins us now with what she's learned. Grace? Those remains in Montgomery County have still not officially been identified. The Justice of the Peace there told us tonight he was on scene Tuesday when skeletal remains were found along with a trash bag that's now been collected as evidence. Pieces of crime scene tape can still be seen not far from Katie Francis's house. Kind of creepy. <laughs> She lives at the edge of the Sam Houston National Forest. Sometimes there's garbage bags where people dump stuff like that out, but I, oh gosh, it's probably been 30, 40 years since we heard of anybody, of them finding anybody else up there. But Tuesday afternoon, they may have found someone. From Drone 11, you can see the path off Highway 149 near Flamingo Lakes, where the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office says a TxDOT worker discovered human bone remains. So Grace, do we have any idea how long it will take to identify these remains that were found? The Justice of the Peace told us tonight it could take some time, but they are working on this as fast as they can. Human remains found in Montgomery County earlier this month have been confirmed as those of Felicia Johnson. She's the 24 year old San Diego woman who disappeared while visiting Houston in April of last year. And investigators are still looking for the man charged in her death. Whenever they release her, then I will be able to have a service for her and pay her the respects that she needs. Houston police have charged 28 year old Chukwubuka Nobudu with her murder. He's on the run. His arrest warrant said they met on an escort website before she disappeared on April 16th of last year. New calls being made tonight for the public's help in finding the man accused in the disappearance of Felicia Johnson. Anyone with information on Wobodo's whereabouts or this case 
is urged to contact the HPD Homicide Division at 713-308-3600 or Crime Stoppers at 713-222-8477. We will not rest until you have been arrested. We want the suspect to know that we're going to look for you, night and day, brother, until you are arrested. We want the suspect to know that the no snitch policy will never protect you in our community. We hope Felicia Johnson's murderer will be brought to justice soon. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Felicia Johnson. May Felicia's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for violent survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.